Hi, so this afternoon we're going to make some hash. And this is three ounces of trim um, ready to go in a one gallon bag. That's three ounces of trim. We're going to use an agitator today. And we've started with some ice. We'll start out with ice about a quarter full. We'll layer it. We'll add all of the trim and then we'll top it off with ice. You don't want too much ice. Now we're going to take these solutions after each run and run them through these bags. There's several different kinds of bags. Today we're going to take out the, um, the, the trim that you'd throw away, some of the rough stuff that's coming out that are not with trichomes, 185, 160, 73, and 45. Full malt hash is anywhere from 45 to 160. Now, I'm here with Mike with, um, with Bees Knees Nectar, and we're going to show you the results of this. Now, you don't need an agitator. This is in a five-gallon bucket. My early days, I would use these bags and a two-by-four um, or something, a PVC pipe that you could use to do your own agitation. Now, we'll do anywhere from three to five runs. You can do up to nine runs, but the best of the best comes out earlier and it gets a little more green as time goes on and you can be the judge of how much you want to do. There you have it. Okay, the agitator is up to high when we put the water in. Okay, this is high on the agitator. Now we've layered the cannabis in between the ice and the agitator. I wanted to point out that it came with a bag like this that you could put your trim in, but we find that it doesn't work as well. Too much gets left behind in here, so we're not using those. Anyway, we let it sit for about five minutes, which will allow the trichomes, which are the resin, which are the oil-based part of the plant, to solidify, and then they will break away from the, the water-based part of the plant and separate. So I wanted to show you um, the results. This is a water hash. This is a 73 mic micron water hash in a turkey bag that we're going to roll. So we will be pressing this and I wanted to introduce Mike. He's with Bees Knees Nectar. He's going to show you how to roll this and press this and, and, uh, and then we're also going to show you um, CO2 keef making which is a very easy way to produce a hash for your home use. Hello, my name is Mike. I am from Bees Knees Nectar. And in this process, what we're going to do is create the next step in the hash making process. So what you'll need to do is get a bottle, fill it with hot boiling water to the top, close it off, definitely get some gloves because it's going to be hot to press, press and roll with. So in the next process, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this hash and start rolling the hash over. And what this is going to do, it's going to create a whole mass of resin inside of this turkey bag. And what this is going to create as a decarboxylation process to help the mass become one big resin and create it into a THC instead of a THCA by removing the Ku molecule. And what this will do will help get through the blood brain barrier a lot faster and create a longer lasting high for yourself. So right now we are continuing with the pressing of the hash. What this will do is create the resins to break up your method of doing this is kind of like kneading flour. Uh, basically dough, when it's real thick, you knead it so it's a flat piece. And once it's a flat piece, you'll take it out and fold it back up and knead it again. And you want to create this process and repeat it about three to four times, depending on the resins. So in this next process here, we have taken the flat piece of hash. Like I said, it would become one flat piece. Your next process is to continue pressing it by rolling it up into a big little square or some kind of thicker hash patty. And what you will do is you'll put it back into the bag and create the second pressing of the resins. And here is the pressing part. And this is Mike with Bees Knees Nectar pressing. So we've got boiling water in a vodka bottle which can decarboxylate but doesn't have to if you're going to be smoking it you don't really need to decarboxylate it but it breaks down the trichomes releasing all the oils and improves the flavor or releases more specifically the flavor 
and that's what it begins to look like and you fold it over and this is a turkey bag we find the turkey bags work better than Ziploc plastic bags so this is the results of three ounces of water hash extraction these are 73 um, micron extraction this would be 160 and 45 extractions bear in mind you can use extraction processes to clean out mold uh, spider mites um, aphids all of those kinds of things can be cleared out you could do it with BHO butane honey oil that way as well probably nobody at home is going to do CO2 anyway uh, it's good production about 10 percent I hope you'll try some water hash ciao